everyone, and welcome to the first YouTube video I have filmed in the new place. If you've watched my last few videos, you've probably heard me mention several times that James and I are moving. Fortunately, the move is done. Hallelujah. Wonderful, fantastic, moving sucks. I don't want to do it again anytime soon, but we are done. Now when I say done, yes we're done, we, we, we live here now, but certain things I haven't gotten around setting up yet, such as my new YouTube filming space. So let me just fill you in a little bit about what's going on. So basically James and I were on a month to month lease at our previous place and we got notice that here's our 90 day termination, no fault, the owner just wants to sell, which they're allowed to do, but especially because it was over Christmas and B, Christmas in Australia is summer. So we have had a few months of sweating profusely, both figuratively and literally. So yeah, basically um, what is really good is rather than fa scrambling to find another rental and the rental market at the moment is crazy, we have moved in with my mother. She fortunately lives really close to where we were and we've got a sort of semi-separate downstairs area, but it's a much smaller area than we were in before. And whilst I did have areas down there that I could decorate and film YouTube in, one day I had a brainwave and I'm like, Mom has space upstairs. She'll probably be okay with me filming against a wall sometime. So I asked her and she was. Now, this particular room was once upon a time my mom's bedroom. It's got some built-ins and these built-ins are covered in childhood art. And also, sorry, I've got the windows open. So if you're hearing cars and also birds, sorry, but you should be used to my audio quality being pretty terrible by now. Anyway, so these walls are completely covered, well, completely, a lot, a lot of it's fallen off over time with childhood art. A vast majority of it from me, but some from the other grandkids and one from my sister and, you know, just a bunch of, bunch of old stuff. Mom has given me the okay to take it all down and, which I'm happy to do and I'm looking forward to do when I can put some of my current art up here, but it does mean I also have to pull off all of the, in some cases, over 20 year old blue tack and that's gonna take a while. But I figured, why not bring you along with me, update you a bit about how I'm going, what I'm going to be doing with the channel, and you can join me as I take down some art and, you know, scrape some blue tack. You can tell how long it's been, because I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up, but can you see the cobwebs <laughs> at the top? <laughs> so I've uh, gotten all the <laughs> art off. And, oh man, this is a huge pile of memories and a huge pile of, like, dust and cobwebs. <laughs> I actually really like the fact that Mom put up all of this, like, back in the day, and that it's been up there for so long, but admittedly, this room is going to look a lot nicer without a lot of, uh, degraded kitty drawings. So, uh, next step next is getting the blue tack off the walls. And I say there's a lot of blue tack. There is a... a lot of blue tack. <laughs> I think I might have messed with my zoom settings when I was showing you the blue tack, but oh well, I actually like this better because you can't see the doorknobs and you can't see the like... poles. I don't know what house thingies are called. Gotta figure out why this lighting is so different. Oh, that's why. Okay. That's a bit dark though. It's gonna take me a while to figure out lighting and everything. I was just closing the uh, door for that, but it's gonna take me a while. But I thought before I commence blue tack removal, let me show you what I've got to do it with. So when I was chatting with my mom and checking if it was okay to do stuff, um, she showed me where the razor blades are so I can use them to scrape the blue tack off because I don't know if you know, but normally blue tack you can just peel it off and then you to get blue tack off the surface, you use more blue tack. Unfortunately, this stuff is so old that that's not really working. So I was gonna use the razor blades, but then James is like, mm, that might not be very safe. So use this instead. This is a like a paint scraping knife. I also have a plastic spatula and a old but never opened actual scraping tool, which hopefully will work. So uh, I'm going to try using all of those and see how this works. Oh geez. Okay, I 
really got to get a handle on the light in here, but oh well, that's, that's another time problem. This is a, deliberately a casual chatty vlog because otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. That didn't make sense, but whatever. Anyway, so I figured out my technique for scraping off blue tack. I'm not going to film any more of that process because that would be very, very boring. Also, I think I'm going to have to wash the walls afterwards just to get off any last residue. So that's going to take me a while, but I will see you back here when that is done and I can actually start decorating. It is now several days later, and as you can tell by the comparatively pristine yellow background behind me, I have removed all the pictures, all the blue tack, washed the walls, and only on these two doors of the built-in wardrobes, I have also used a wonderful substance called gumption to remove the blue tack residue, because apparently blue tack that's been there for 20 years doesn't want to come off easily. But hey, it is done. So. I am now going to hang a picture. Give me a sec, I'll grab the picture and I'll talk about it for a moment. Okay, so I feel pretentious, but I have decided that this time around, I don't want to have my wall covered in pop culture stuff. I want to have lesser pieces that are more potentially indicative of myself. And okay, look, I'll be completely honest. I'm a wanker. At last year's work Christmas party, we were doing one of those you know, group painting things where you all paint the same thing. And I actually really liked what I painted because I went off the, uh, diverted from the original a little bit. See, this is a picture of what we were meant to paint. And this is what I ended up doing. And it's like, I like it. <laughs> now, the reason why I wanted to hang this up is, well, A, I mean, it, it's rainbow. It's a freaking, it's a freaking rainbow with black. I mean, can you not tell? That, that is kind of entirely my jam. The second point is, like I say, I sort of wanted to have a sort of a visually simpler background. I found my last one was a little chaotic, a little distracting. Um, doing this painting actually made me want to paint, to draw, to do art, because I, obviously it doesn't come up in this channel, but I've always been like, oh, I can't draw for shit. And that's true, I kind of can't. But I did this and it was fun and it turned out nice. And because my work always likes making things a competition, they even had a whole vote for your favorite art out of the, you know, 15 of us, who did your favorite? And I won the popular vote, which was really weird and surprising and made me feel good. And it made me feel like maybe I can do art. So that's something I'm probably gonna explore on this channel <laughs> as time goes on is doing more art because I already have I know what sort of companion piece to this is gonna be, and it's gonna be completely like thematically different, but it's also gonna be black and rainbow. So I'm effectively gonna have one painting here, one painting here. And so, yeah, I'm gonna hang this bad boy up. First thing to decide though, is what side do I think it should go on? Because that side will look like that. This side will look like that. Oh man, that's a that's a tough choice. It's a real tough choice. I mean, it's not like I can't change it, but I think I'll go with that side. And well, if I don't like it, I can always change it later. So, uh, excuse me while I grab some tools and get onto it. Ah, there we go. I do have permission to do this. And I decided to use thumbtacks rather than actually driving in a nail because they're slightly less permanently, you know, damaging. Now, let's see, that's like a pinky and a hand away from the top. All right, that is a uh, not even, but other than the lack of evenness, that's pretty good. Now, fortunately, I have a spirit level on my phone, so let me just grab that. That's apparently, according to the spirit level on my phone, that is one degree off level and I don't care enough <laughs> to change it. I just realized I put it up on the opposite side that I, than I thought I was going to. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm smart. Well, um, you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna leave it there until I do my second piece of art and then I can. <laughs> Oh boy, that's embarrassing. 
embarrassing. But that's a great opportunity to segue into my next little talky point of this video, which is just a bit, bit more of an update. So I've updated you about the move, I've updated my filming space, and now I just want to give you a quick update on what's going to go on with my channel going forward. So, first of all, we're moved, it's done, so I'm going to be able to resume my more regular um, uploading schedule. So back to nearly every Tuesday uploading a video, which is going to be really nice. I actually really truly miss doing YouTube while we were on the move. I, I didn't like it. No, it was quite a big thing for me to realize how much enjoyment I do get out of doing YouTube because obviously I'm not like wildly successful. I'm not an influencer or anything. I, I just do this for me and hopefully you enjoy it and all of that. But yeah, I'd, I'd missed I'd missed filming, so I'm really, really happy to be getting back into that. So yes, normal schedule resuming as of when I post this video, which is really nice. I don't really have anything particularly groundbreaking upcoming, but like I said, I'm probably going to be diversifying my content even more in the rest of this year because yeah, I discovered I kind of enjoy painting, even though I'm not particularly good at it. Obviously, I'm still going to be exploring Lolita stuff, cosplay stuff. I'm still going to make things. I'm still going to write. I'm still going to read. I'm still going to bring you guys along with whatever the hell I'm doing that I think is interesting. I um, have another travel vlog coming up soon, which will, again, hopefully <laughs> be interesting. But yeah, I want to take this opportunity to say Thank you for watching my videos. I, I really appreciate every view, every like, every comment, every subscriber. It, it means a lot to me because, I mean, to be completely honest, like, yeah, if I could ever make this the thing that I do and quit my day job where I have to just deal with people complaining in emails, that would be wonderful. I love creating things, whether it's videos, whether it's taking photos, whether it's modeling in photos, whether it's, you know, making costumes, modifying costumes, whether it's writing, I just, I like making stuff. And this channel's really helped me explore many different facets of making stuff that I probably, to be honest, wouldn't have done without YouTube as a factor. So thanks guys. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking because, as usual, I ramble on and if I keep talking this video is gonna be way too long. It's probably way too long anyway, given that there's not much to it, but, but oh well. I'm really happy to be back. Hope you didn't miss me too much. And yeah, please let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you want to see me explore. Like, I'm down for trying pretty much everything, so let me know what kind of content you want to see from me. I would genuinely really love to know. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's it for now. I'm gonna actually stop talking. <laughs> Until next time. Bye bye.